In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to predict the direction of a reaction by comparing the reaction quotient and the equilibrium constant. The first question reads, consider the reaction and its equilibrium constant. A reaction mixture contains a partial pressure of iodine equaling 0.114 atmosphere, a partial pressure of chlorine gas of 0.102 atmosphere, and a partial pressure of iodine chloride of 0.355 atmosphere. Is the reaction mixture at equilibrium? If not, in which direction will the reaction proceed? As you can see, we've been given the equilibrium constant relative to the pressure, and that's 81.6. What I'll do is find the reaction quotient for the pressure by comparing the products to the reactants. So for ICL, we have a partial pressure of 0 0.355 and it has a coefficient of two at the front, so I will raise this to the power of two. And our reactants, their partial pressures are also given. Iodine is 0 0.114, and it doesn't have a coefficient at the front. That's being multiplied to chlorine gas. Its partial pressure is 0 0.102, and also it does not have a coefficient at the front. I'll call this QP using my calculator. 0 0.355 raised to the power of 2 divided by the products of the denominator. So 0 0.114 times 0 0.102. Our answer should have three significant figures, giving us 10.8. 10.8. As you can see, QP is less than KP. So the reaction is not at equilibrium and we'll proceed to the right. Notice the chart underneath that when Q, right here, is smaller than K, the reaction shifts to the right. That's the answer to question number one. Let's move on to question two. This time we're asked, consider the reaction and its equilibrium constant. This time the equilibrium constant is relative to the concentration. A reaction mixture contains a concentration of NO2 of 0 0.0255 and N2O4 of 0 0.0331 molars. Calculate Q sub C and determine the direction in which the reaction will proceed. Just as we did before, I'll compare the products of the reactants, their concentrations. And we've been given the concentration of NO2, that's our only product, 0 0.0255, and that will be raised to the power of two because of the coefficient. Divided by, and we're looking for Q C. The only reactant has a concentration of 0 0.0331, and that's not being raised to anything. We'll calculate this, 0 0.0255 raised to the power of two, divided by 0 0.0331, and to three significant figures, we get 0 0.0196, 0 0.0196. If we write this out in decimal form, this number, we should get 0 0.00585. As you can see, this number is larger than that number. And when Q is larger than K, the reaction shifts to the left. So we can assume that the direction it will be moving is to the left. And there you have it. Two examples on how to predict the direction of a reaction by comparing Q and K.